What's up guys, Jackson here with the Toasty Bros and today we're gonna to be going over a very long project of upgrading my whole entire office setup. Let's get right into it. Huge shout out to today's sponsor, Micro Center. If you are someone who wants to get into PC building or an already established hobbyist, Micro Center has something for you. With their wide selection of PC parts and staff to help you get the best deal out there, there is no better place to go for your PC hardware. If you're a first time customer, you can even get a new Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for only $149, an entire 3D printer for a pretty sweet price if you ask me. Just make sure you go in store so you can take advantage of this offer. While in store, you might as well use your $25 off coupon that you can earn just by submitting your bill to Micro Center's PC Build Showcase. Once it's approved, you'll get $25 bucks that you can spend on improving your setup or your build. How awesome is that? This month, Micro Center wants to help you create your first build with some of their great savings with their Build Your Own Month. Use these deals to get your first PC up and running for an amazing price. Also, good news for those of you who like to vacation or visit Miami, as a new Micro Center is going to be opening up soon. Thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back into it. So if you guys didn't know, of course, I'm a gamer at home as well as at the office, and this is my current setup. It is a little bit bare because we've already kind of started to take some stuff apart. I think it'll kind of be one of a kind, tempered glass for the top panel and everything. It's going to make this look like a little school art project, hopefully, and then the stream background will be really Really cool so I'm really excited about that. I think I'm gonna start off by basically finishing taking the stuff off the walls, and then I'm gonna do some drywall work because I kind of want to get rid of any holes that are in the current background just so that it's a nice clean slate. Here is the spot where my desk normally sits it actually right where that cat is. Hello Salem. That is where the new desk is gonna go. Don't ask me what this is. It kind of looks like something like caught on fire, but I'm not really sure, honestly. These are like some of the old things that used to be on the wall. The new stream setup, we're going for more minimalistic look. We got like this dark gray paint, depending on how the light hits it, so that should be really cool. I bought like a big pack of floating shelves on Amazon, some vine hanging off of them, and we're gonna have a uh, neon Toasty Bros sign in orange. I did get some new internals for the PC too. New tempered glass, we're gonna be replacing all of the kind of random air stuff with Corsair stuff so that it all looks a lot better. We're gonna go for like an orange LED color theme. Govi lights to go underneath here. I got a Govi um, LED strip that I'm gonna put either on the bottom and have it point up or you know on the ceiling and have it point down. At this point I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a, just some small drywall work and then we're ready for paint. All right. We got the paint done. It's looking pretty good. It's uh, definitely a little bit darker than I was expecting, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I really like the kind of subtle tint of green in it, but glad that all this is over. I'm gonna remove the tape soon. First thing I wanna unbox and show you guys is I had this sign right here, custom made. So let me go ahead and unbox that. So this is exactly what I was talking about with the sign that I'm really excited about. Basically everything that you're gonna see in the setup, I pretty much got off of Amazon, so I'll make sure that we have some affiliate links, but this is a custom sign creator that is on Amazon and uh, showed up really fast too, but you can do all different sizes, colors, RGB, whatever you want. Let's go ahead and get it open and get all the peel off. All right, we're plugged in. Oh my God, that's bright. I got my mesh system set up in here. It is really ugly right now, but you know, I was like, well, might as well use this utility room uh, rather than build a shelf just for the router. And honestly, it just wasn't gonna look very pretty. So I'm much happier with this solution. Hopefully my Wi-Fi still works good. So here's another Amazon special. If someone asked me what these shelves are made out of, I would say, not wood. They're like extremely lightweight. I do really like the bracket design. You could obviously put them another way if you wanted to, but I think this is kind of cool. So now I just got to figure out where to put these. I got one shelf up and I want you guys to kind of kind of dream with me here for a second. I got, I think it's something stupid, like 400 or 500 feet of this fake vine. It smells horrible. Like I always see people in reviews where they're like fake rubber thing smells bad from Amazon and I'm just like, yeah, can't be that bad. This, this stuff is horrible. So the idea is, you know, each shelf will probably have a little bit of this hanging off of it. If I really feel adventurous, maybe I'll even hang some from like the, the backdrop, like the ceiling. So we'll see. All right, well now that we got the wall and the background basically done, we're gonna go ahead and start with the worst part, the desk. So I'm using a Vivo V122EB, which I think is, yeah, actually a dual motor one. We have a single motor version of this on Toasty DIY. If you guys wanna see a kind of basic build guide on really both of these, but this one will probably be kind of 
uh, cut and dry just to once the desk is put together. And then we basically just put our wood foundation or whatever material you decide on top. So let's go ahead and get to building. So we got our countertop set up on some sawhorses, basically taking about 10 inches off of the total depth of the desk. We're going to keep the full six feet, but I do not want to have to worry about getting a 39 inch desk through doorways. So we're cutting it down to 20, 29 inches, which will make it to just barely fit into the basement doorway so that I can actually get the PC and the desk as a whole just in and out in one piece. So now we have a 29 by six foot desk. Gonna be a lot easier for me to move around because this thing weighed a ton before. Here's a basic idea on what the desk is gonna look like. So this right here represents the actual wooden case that I've built for the PC, not the glass panel. The glass is actually gonna be a lot smaller. It'll probably just kind of come from here to here uh, because I didn't want to show like the power supply and the cable management and hard drive and whatnot. It's gonna go right underneath here. This is about as far as I can get it where it makes sense and it's not gonna be super scary. Just a couple of screws in the legs here because I got it lined up pretty well and I don't want the desk shifting on me. Here's the build. All the cable management is basically hidden. So how I designed it was kind of a dual chamber where uh, the power supply is in its own area. It has its own uh, ventilation and everything. And then the actual computer over here, uh, you can really only see from about, I'd say like here on, um, so that you kind of get like a nice display piece. And that's what the new tempered glass that'll go over this. So we just really need to work on getting this thing really cleaned up, new fans and everything, new cooler, and then uh, hopefully get all this stuff mounted. I lost all my daylight that I had left because I was missing a stock AM4 backplate, so I had to run all the way to the office to grab one uh, for our Corsair cooler because the old cooler I had used a proprietary one. So we're back, we're good to go. So we got the PC put back together. We have the H100i installed. We have our two new fans, well technically four. Ended up changing the direction of airflow too just so that these filters don't end up going into the fan. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this whole area loose since you can't see any of it like ever unless you take the whole PC apart. And uh, honestly, just for like upgrades and stuff like that or if I need to do repairs, it's a lot easier to get to. And I did not notice thing only had a 550 watt power supply in it. It's kind of been a while, but yeah, 4070 at the 5800X, uh, it's been going strong, not a single issue out of this computer. So let's keep going. Okay, so the next step is going to be cutting the hole for our actual glass piece. This is probably one of the scarier steps because uh, this piece of wood was 300 bucks. So if I screw it up, you know, it's gonna kind of suck. I only really get one chance. So here is the glass. So this black outline on the outside is basically the actual size of the glass. And then the goal is to cut the inside line. And then we're gonna take a router and basically plunge maybe a quarter of an inch down to where this should sit pretty much flush inside of there without falling all the way in for the moment of truth. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, it's snug. Insert shattered glass here. You know, it's not perfectly flush, but oh my gosh, this is like miles ahead uh, better than my other one that I did and I got the height like perfect like it sits flush with the wood I don't know if the camera really does it justice, but yeah, this is it's turning out great so far I pretty much reached a stopping point because I need to let this stain uh, fully dry And then we're gonna be doing a clear coat over top of it looking even better now that it's stained Super excited to get the glass panel on and get the PC mounted really this was the, the biggest part is just finishing the desk so once the desk is done um, we can put it in the room and you know set everything up and have the new background it's gonna look really sick we got the stain nice and settled and then we already did one uh, really thin layer of clear coat that you can kind of see that's what that uh, shine in these areas are and so now what we're gonna do is just sand that with a really fine 220 grit sandpaper 
and then we're gonna go ahead and do maybe one or two more coats. I'm not super concerned about it being perfect. We just wanna sand it to get some of these kind of more bumpy spots smoothed down, and then we'll have a really nice top coat that'll protect the wood. All right, well, the new desk is in here. Uh, I did end up having to take the table countertop off of the legs to get it through the doorway, so really, I could have probably left the desk like massively large like it was, but oh well. Anyways, I was able to kind of keep my setup mostly together just to simplify things. So I should be able to just kind of pick my monitors up and mount them and then I'm gonna be mounting a new monitor as well, which I'm really excited about. All right, the desk is just about completed. I gotta get a video of the grand reveal of the glass going on. And don't worry, I'm gonna clean it once I actually get it on there. <laughs> We got the glass to where it just like barely fits in there. All right guys, we got the office totally done. So I wanna give you guys a little tour of it now. It took a little bit of time, but I'm very happy with how it turned out and I'm really glad that I actually took my time. So yeah, as you guys can see, I have redone the whole office. We got the gaming PC uh, totally done and built into the desk and boy, does it look nice. I'm really loving how the um, glass turned out and uh, just not having any like nails or screws or anything sticking out. The PC is just totally seamless with the desk. Um, yeah, just super thrilled with how it turned out. The up desk functionality works pretty well, which is also a nice feature. I don't really know how often I'll stand, but it's definitely nice to have. We got the curved 32 inch monitors with the brand new 24 inch and portrait mode off to the side. And then of course, major change to the background. This is definitely a really large change for me because um, I did kind of have like a more cluttered background before. So having a more clean background, you know, kind of with like a little bit of liveliness to it, I definitely went for like a nice orange theme this time, which normally I've always been a big RGB guy, but I felt like it was kind of time to have a more consistent color uh, with this setup. So I kind of went for like a fiery orange, yellow and red kind of deal. But yeah, looks super nice. Here's it from the back. We got a pretty well cable managed, I think is as cable managed as I really felt like it needed to be. And then got the uh, guitar and amp set up over here. We have an extra desk with a monitor for if any friends ever stay over, a uh, 3D printer station. And then this right here is just some of my uh, productivity stuff. So we got like some extra tripods and um, you know GoPro accessories and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, this, this is it. I'm super thrilled to finally be done with it. And I'm really happy to start gaming and uh, hopefully streaming some more as well on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. And hey, if you guys want a baller gaming PC, PCBros.tech has you covered. That's basically how I was able to do all this because Matt and I own PCBros.tech. So I uh, definitely was able to get some inspiration from some other builds that we've done. So check out PC Bros. Use code ToastyBros2 for 2% off. And don't forget guys, that one year warranty comes standard with everything. Peace out.